what is going on everyone it is time for yet another stream today we're going to be streaming total rampa island this is the one that got canceled uh, a long time ago i think it only went up to like chapter five like the chapter five trial or something like that so they didn't get to finish it they do have like a summary of like what happens at the end but we've done plenty of fan gans that haven't finished before so it's nothing new i mean rocky restarts hope restoration i mean there's like a ton <laughs> So at least this one has content and that's what that's what matters to me because Total Drama Island is one of my favorite shows and I just want to experience just a little taste of what it would be like in the Danganronpa universe, you know, just a little taste and I feel like we're going to get that with this fan gan. I'm excited. Even though, yes, it was canceled. I understand that. But what's up, everybody? Who's here? The Real Rosie. We got Owo. Thank you for the moderating, by the way, Owo. Is Mystery L and y Rukshami here too? Hi, Kim. Hi, Jetpack. Hi, Kit. Yo, Kit. Yo, I see. I think we're getting really close to the end of that trial for Defiance, aren't we? Carol, hi. Oh my God, there's so many people here. What the freak? Hey, hit the like button if you haven't already, y'all. I appreciate you guys for all coming on, uh, coming here on a Sunday. It's Sunday, right? Yeah, it's Sunday. I'm excited. Casey, hi, what's up? The Ultimate Musician, Sleepy Mark, The Blue Gamer, Sora's Gay, Kara, Wince Media's here, what's going on? Yo, Total Drama, I'm telling you, this is hype! One of the hypest streams we've done! Hi, Blaze, I gotta ask you, do you want to be famous? No! <laughs> I would I would rather not be famous. I've been studying all day, so I need a little break. That's what's up. Hi, what's going on? I sold Apple. Summon Slav, what's up? I see you. Pirate, what's going on? Marios? Ah, there's so many people here. What the freak? Child Guardian, what's up? That's a mood, right? Redemption is back. Redemption is back! Let's go! I am so happy! That is great. I'm super excited to get back into Redemption Rampa. It's going to be awesome. Perfect stream to draw to? It is. It is. This is my first stream and I'm so excited. What's up, Ash? Hey, thank you for all of the new subs. We've gotten a ton of new subs in the last like couple of days. Like it literally, like I was flatlining with new subs and it, it literally just went through the roof like overnight. It's it's crazy. Like we gained over like a thousand subs within like two days. <laughs> so there's a lot of people here. What's up? Chapter six daily life is hype. For which uh for which fan gan? Yep, chapter six. Oh, for um, Redemption Rampa. I got you. I got you. I made slight progress in my fan game planning. Nice. Plan Gen Rampa. That's what's up. I can't wait for this one. This one's going to be great, guys. So I got it all set up. Uh, we're going to start fairly, fairly soon here. I hope everybody's doing good today. Tell me about your guys' days. What did, what did you guys do today? I'm curious. Imagine you hit 50K this year. Unless. Hey, oh, whoa. I wouldn't be surprised if we hit it within the next, like, week or so with how fast it's growing it might it might play games nothing sleep i got sick yesterday after your cuphead rompa stream really i'm so sorry i hope it's not covid i'm at applebee's oh applebee's is good i did some coloring i ate garlic bread today bought off a cold everybody's getting sick recently got a positive covid test that's terrible You've been studying. Have you only watched Total Drama Island? Or have you watched any other Total Drama? I've only watched Total Drama Island uh, up to season four. But that was like a long time ago. That was like when 16 was out, like basically when it was coming out on Cartoon Network. Uh, I remember watching the first season of Total Drama Island like when I was in high school. I think I was like in ninth grade. I'm still lying in bed with COVID. But I finished making the slides for the rest of Super Mario Rampa Chapter 1 Daily. Nice. Fanta, I'm sorry to hear that. I watched the first four seasons in Redemption Rampa. Or in RR, my bad. <laughs> I, I, I thought RR meant Redemption Rampa for a second. Yeah, everybody, what's your favorite season of Total Drama Island if you have watched it? I'd like to know. My whole family, including me, got COVID. Yikes. Total Drama is one of my favorite shows currently. I love 16. 16 was dope. 16 was really dope. Back then, 16 was out. This this show, Total Drama, um, Chowder. I love Chowder. 
Flapjack was out. Hey, Flapjack is underrated. Okay, can we talk about that? I'm seeing a lot of season ones. World Tour? World Tour was the uh, spinoff, right? Season two, season three. Three is really good. Three is good. I liked one and two. I like season five. Season five is like a unpopular opinion in the fan base. I do. I think. World Tour was three. Okay. I loved World Tour. I didn't know. I didn't know season three had a subtitle. Let me look at all the subtitles. Hold on. I'm gonna look up all the seasons real quick. So there is. Uh. Total Drama Island. Total Drama Action was the second season. Okay, it was called Action. Uh, World Tour was the third season. Revenge of the Island was the fourth. Five and six was All Stars and. Something Island. I can't even say that word. Gwen was always one of my favorites, bro. I know. Yeah, dude. Hey, Gwen better last in this one. Gwen better last. I would say my opinions, but my opinions are so controversial. Are they? By the way, I only asked the questions about wanting to be famous in reference to the intro to Total Drama Island. Oh. Isn't that like a, um, isn't the, isn't the theme song like a, it's like a remix of that one song, like way back in the day called, uh, sedated, but they just changed it. They changed the words. They did Gwen so dirty in season three. I know, right? <laughs> do you think Blaze will ever do Dog Rapa Plus series? Maybe in the future. I like all stars. Thought some elements were great. Weren't great. Holy crap. I never realized that. Yeah. Who's who sang that song originally? Uh, sedated. I want to be sedated. I think it was the Ramones, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, it's the Ramones. Okay, we should start. Plays Redemption Robin Chapter 6 is out. I know I heard. We'll do it next stream. We'll definitely do it next stream. All right, y'all. Hopefully, you're all ready for this. Let's go! YouTube! How is everybody today? I am glad that you guys are here. We're going to be doing it yet again. But this time, it's Total Drama Island. I can't wait for this. It's one of my favorite cartoons of all time. And I always thought that it would make a really good Dog and Rampa like, crossover. So I'm glad that somebody tried to do a crossover of this. This is not finished, by the way. They did not finish this series, sadly. Um, it got canceled at season five, or chapter five, sorry, season five. Chapter five, so that's unfortunate. But I wanna see, I just wanna taste, okay? I get it, it was canceled, but I wanna taste of what it would be like to have Total Drama Island as a Danganronpa killing game. It'd be cool, right? Let's do it. Let me turn the Sonic music off first. Oh, drama is amazing. All right, y'all. Prologue time. Let's see what we got. Dude, this art's going to be amazing. I already know it is. Wind blew through my hair as I stood on the deck of the boat. It was weird that Chris brought us back another season after Island. Oh, this is going to be great. It was somewhat refreshing to see Camp Wanawanaka, but also somewhat irritating, especially since I didn't win. Anyways, we got an email from Chris McLean about he was planning to do another season with the fan favorites. Didn't think I would be considered a fan favorite. Oh yeah, I probably should introduce myself. I already know who you are, Cody. I'm Cody Anderson, a past participant on Total Drama Island and a current one on this season. Let's go! <laughs> Yo, they made, <laughs> they made freaking Cody the ultimate unlucky student. I'm dead. I am so dead. That is great. That is great. Unk. Guess I'm already here. Hmm. There's no one here. Not even Chris. Maybe we're meeting somewhere else. As I began to pick up my feet up, 
I heard another boat come in. Oh my God, that is the Persona 4 UI. Trust me, I know the Persona 4 UI when I see it. Cody, let's go! It's the boy! <laughs> Owen! Let's go! Hey, dude. It's been a while. Oh, I'm so happy right now. Ultimate foodie? That is perfect. That is perfect for my boy. I didn't really have many friends last time, and although Owen was friends with everyone, it was nice to be reunited with someone I knew well. So, where is everyone? I don't know. Maybe we're first. No, that can't be it. My boat was the last to leave. Everyone else must be here already. Come on. Owen began to lead the way into the heart of the island, with me trailing behind. Hey, it's... Oh, who is it? Who is it? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh, God. Those guys are back. Heather? Yep, Heather. <laughs> Ultimate dancer? That's perfect. That is completely perfect. Hmm. Do you have any idea of what's going on? I don't know what you mean by that. Well, we didn't really have a proper introduction like last season, and Chris isn't here. Heather's our queen. <laughs> I love that. Uh, the, the ultimate antagonist. Makes my life easier with him gone. Now, why don't you guys just go and scram? Hey, guys. What's up, Lizzie? The ultimate actor. Oh, my God. Uh, this is... Oh, my... This the nostalgia is kicking in right now. It feels so good. Hey, Lindsay. I missed you guys. I've been lonely ever since the season ended. Same. I don't have any friends back home. I'm glad that you guys are having fun. Actually, I'm not. I left my curling iron at home, and there's no service here, so I can't text my sister. It's an island in the middle of Canada. Of course there's no service. No. <laughs> Anyways, there's more people in the cafeteria. Come on. Really? She signaled for us to follow her, and we reluctantly followed, leaving Heather by the port. Dang, the cafeteria looks the same. Yeah, it does. Lindsay's accent that would fit with how impressionable she her acts can be convincing. That is true. Hey, DJ and Taylor. What's up? Look who we found. She still doesn't remember my name. <laughs> Tyler, 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 the ultimate athlete. You'd expect her to remember Tyler's name out of everyone, but no. Okay, guys, everybody in the chat, who is your favorite Total Drama Island participant? Let me know. Hey, dudes. We saved some extra food for you guys. DJ, let's go. The ultimate animal whisperer. That's perfect. Yes, I've been hungry that whole boat ride. Owen went and ditched me for food. A typical thing for him to do. As I was looking around the cafeteria, my eyes wandered toward. I've seen a lot of DJs, Duncans, the Goths, Gwen. A lot of people love Gwen. Okay, there she is. Speaking of Gwen, here she is right here. Noah and Gwen, a lot of people love Gwen. Gwen has got like the best aesthetic, you know? She's definitely awesome. Oh, hey, Cody. Oh, they gave her the ultimate question mark. Oh, don't do this to her. Don't do this to Gwen, bro. Why they gotta give her the ultimate question mark? Is she gonna be like the Kirigiri of this uh, series? Hi, Gwen. Damn, I always have to be awkward around her. There's not even a purpose. As I noticed, Trent's sitting next to her. Hey, man. Oh, God, Trent. <laughs> Bro, Trent's gonna die. Watch. Ultimate guitarist. Even if I still like Gwen, I really can't force her to like me. Something insane would have to happen to Trent for her to choose me. Yup. Hey, let's already, let's already throw in our predictions. Trent's dead. <laughs> that looks like everyone in the cafeteria. Lindsay did say everyone was scattered around the camp. Maybe the cabins would be a good place to check. Walked out of the cafeteria. Bud. Ah! Hey, man. Watch it. Oh, my God. This guy. I couldn't stand this guy. <laughs> Sorry. I couldn't stand this guy, bro. Ultimate skateboarder. Okay. Bridget's here. Let's go. Hey, he probably didn't mean it. Ultimate surfer. Yes. Bridget's awesome. You're right, babe. I slowly walked past them as they continued to make out. Jeez, is that all they do? I know. Ugh. <laughs> well, this is the boy's cabin. It felt very empty, unlike how it normally felt. Hey, Noah. Mm. Ultimate scholar. Noah's here. Let's go. 
Where's Where's Duncan though? I forgot how antisocial that guy can be, especially with a book. Harold's here. You must be careful, Cody. You never know what no would be scheming. Ultimate ninja, let's go. <laughs> yes, because I'm a big threat to you and everyone here. Nods. <laughs> I decided to get out of that situation. I couldn't survive in a room with Harold and Noah. Lashana! This is my favorite character! Let's go! Lasada is here, ladies and gentlemen! Bruh, Lasada is the realest. I don't care what anyone says. Hey, short stuff. Hey, Lashana. Ultimate socialite. Okay. <laughs> this is so... This is making me so happy right now. I'm so happy. Well, let's see. There's Owen, Harold, Lashana, Heather, Lindsay, Tyler, DJ, Gwen, Trent, Noah, Jeff, Bridget. Who else am I missing? Izzy! Yay! Crash. Oops, sorry, Cody. <laughs> Ultimate Explorer, Izzy's here. Let's go. It's fine. Come on, Duncan. I can't be the only one who notices that. Oh, Courtney's here. I forgot all about Courtney. Ultimate Counselor. I like that. That's a good one. Oh, right. There's Duncan and Courtney, too. There's Duncan. Let's go. Duncan, just because there's no visible cameraman doesn't mean it's different from the previous season. Ultimate delinquent, Duncan. That's the perfect ultimate talent for him. Chapter three, killer incoming, yikes. Take this queen, Lashana deserves it. Yep, give Lashana her crown. Give Lashana her crown. She needs her, she needs her flowers, y'all. Hmm, so with Izzy, Duncan, and Courtney, that makes 16 of us. That's less than last season. Strange for Chris to boot off, pe uh, boot people off in general. Wait, what? Ding dong, bing bong. Huh? Everybody, please meet at the stage. I have something important to tell you dudes. Ugh, what does Chris want this time? We already know how this game works. Do we have to listen to another introduction? Eventually everyone was moving towards the stage, sitting scattered around the bleachers. Hey campers, long time no see. I hope you've missed me. Get out onto the stage so we can see you. Oh yeah, my apologies. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, why did they get rid of the Katies? Yo, that I I, I was like, wait. What I was like, cause I couldn't remember their names like straight off the top of my head, but why did they get rid of them? I love them. I love how they, they look though. I love how uh Chris looks. <laughs> Not the Kates. Why'd they get rid of them? Uh, I think I just got a donation. Sorry, y'all. Give me one second. Shouts out to Pancake Roll. Thank you for the dono. The $10. I remember Total Drama. Oh my God. All of the nostalgia. I'm ready for the game to actually start. Have a good stream, Bestie. Oh, thanks, Bestie. I appreciate it. Thank you for the 10. You're amazing. What the F? Oh, yeah. Did a little op outfit swap, dudes. How's it look? Why are you half white <laughs> and your eyes? It's all red and glowy. Ouch. Can we stop bullying Monochris so I can explain the rules? <laughs> he looks so weird. <laughs> Monochris? What a dumb name. Uh, Guys, I feel like we shouldn't taunt him. So when are we going to start the game? We're going to get split up into two groups and I'm glad you mentioned. This game is a little different than last time. Decided to spice it up. This time it's a killing game. A what game? A killing game. You know, where you kill. Did Fresh TV approve of this? Nope, those cameras aren't for a show. They're for me to monitor everything that happens. Let me explain the... Like I'm gonna participate in that. Duncan, shut up. I might not like most of you a lot, but I've already been to Juvie. Plus, murder really isn't my thing. The only way you can escape the island, though, is by killing a fellow camper. <laughs> Yo, hold on, let me, let me screenshot of that. That right there is beautiful. This is a dream, bro. Like, I don't even feel like I'm here right now. This can't be real. We are in the Matrix. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Danganronpa in total drama, bro. This is wild. What? Yep. That's one of the rules. And speaking of rules, 
Might as well go into the rest of them. You aren't allowed to tamper with any of my cameras or equipment, and you aren't allowed to plot any violence against me. Nighttime is during 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. It is recommended to sleep during that time. If someone kills another camper, they'll become what's known as a blackened. They can leave the island unless discovered. A blackened is only able to kill two people max. Okay, I gotta remember that. And any additional rules will be added if needed too. Is any of that cool, dudes? This is dumb. Yeah, when you sleep, couldn't someone just kill you in the cabin? Normally, yes, but it would be foolish for someone to kill another camper with a high chance of someone waking up by the victim screaming. True? <laughs> if we look at it this way, I don't think that's a good way to look at it. Fine, I'll make a rule that you can't kill someone in the cabins when it's nighttime. What happens if uh, someone breaks one of these rules? It's very simple. They get executed. Executed? Yep. Now that that's been cleared up, I'll let you guys use today as a day of adaptation. Also, boys sleep in one cabin and girls sleep in the other. I recommend you go eat lunch. Now that's going to be so weird to see all of them like sleeping in one place. Like in Danganronpa, they usually have their own dorms, right? And just like that, he disappeared. So should we just listen to what he says? Despite how much I don't like this, Chris, I don't want to die. It's kind of ironic. The amount of times we joked about dying on the show, that's now a reality. Come on, guys. Let's just go to the cafeteria and discuss plans from there. I was a sit. Nobody cares. So what do we do? If you think about it, there's no point in committing a crime. We've all been here before, and we know how it works. We could survive without anyone's death. Have you forgotten that we're stuck here forever if nobody dies? And anyways, you can make it harder and harder for us to resist. Huh? We know how he was like with challenges in season one. He could certainly be like that with reasons to kill each other. So true. We all remember how Chris was. Shut up, Heather. We don't need your at a time like this. <gasps> this is what I needed. Gwen, Gwen versus Heather. Look, I say we take it slow. We just got a bunch of rules and prompts thrown at us. If a killing game happens, we need to be prepared. There's got to be a way around this. There's always a loophole. That's my girl. So what are you saying? There's got to be a way to beat Chris's system. We need to find out how to do that. For now, though, I'll let Courtney talk. She seems to have a plan. Thank you, Gwen. As I was saying, I say the best way to handle not being killed is to be in a group. Maybe, possibly. And maybe we should isolate the most dangerous member here. Heather was beaming at Duncan. Hey, Duncan wouldn't kill anybody. Are you talking about me? Exactly. You're the ultimate delinquent. And you've even said that you've been to Juvie. You are clearly dangerous. Hey, hold on, y'all. Duncan's surviving. Who's with me on that? Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm making a poll. I'm making a poll. Will Duncan survive the game? Y'all are going to vote. Let me know. I think Duncan's last until the end. For sure. He legit said he wouldn't kill. Exactly. Thank you. He better survive, bro. I know, right? Look, just because of those two factors doesn't mean I'll kill someone. You say that, and yet I know it's in your pocket. You started to inch closer and closer to the punk. Listen, man, you don't know sh Back off. Mad because I know about your pocket? Slash. Wait, whoa! Hey, what the hell? Yo! Whoa, 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 whoa! Turn it down, turn it down. What the hell? I told you to back off, you crazy <laughs> With that, Duncan left the cafeteria. He just sliced and diced Heather. He snapped. Duncan, wait. What? Ugh, is nobody gonna help me with my new gash? Oh my God, dude, Heather's. Yo, Heather just cannot get a break, yo. Heather got a bit thick, I'm dead. Oh yeah, come on Heather, let's go to the infirmary. 
As Heather and Lindsay left, and Courtney trailing after Duncan, the rest of us sat dumbfounded. You know, this scenario reminds me of this one anime that's also a game. It was about murder too. Oh, here we go. Here we freaking go. Wait, didn't you say that Duncan wouldn't kill? I know, right, Chaotic Caper? I spoke too soon. That's not how I wanted this to work out. Hey, Gwen, I can help you out. Why did I say that? Why did I say that she has a boyfriend? Why did I say that? Uh, thanks, Cody, but I don't really have any other plans. Yeah, that's cool. I'll just chill in the cabin. I hurried to the cabin. I couldn't sit there anymore. It was too awkward. I spent the rest of the day com uh, complimenting what's going to happen. I think they mean contemplating. Contemplating what's going to happen. As I thought, night rolled around. Cody is big. He's a big simp. You can already see it. What's your favorite Total Drama Island character? Lashana! I told y'all! Lashana! Lashana is hype! Lashana is the realest. I don't care what anyone says. If Lashana dies, we're done with this fan again. <laughs> we're gonna cancel this fan again. Uh, again. We're gonna cancel it again. Alright, so we're on to chapter one already. That was a quick prologue. That was a, that was a short, sweet, simple prologue. I like that. It was quick. It didn't draw on too long. Uh, it got straight to the point. And on top of that, we got a little bit of a... Uh... Lashana is the best. That's what I'm saying. Gaslight gatekeep Lashana. <laughs> we'll double cancel it. I know, right? Cancel the fan again if the queen gets shanked. Exactly. All right, guys. It's chapter one. A dinner to die for. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, campers. Nighttime is officially over. Rise and shine. Whose bright idea was it to make all the guys share one cabin? It stinks in here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dude. Gross. Quickly, each guy headed out of the cabin and made their way to the mess hall. Oh, my God. I bet you it smells so bad. I just realized. Where has Chef been? Yeah, where's Chef? Yo, Chef's got to be here. Yeah, the quality of of the food is just like his who cares about chef i do hey where's tyler i care about the chef lindsay i'm here not now noah i'm not noah yeah she remembers you as me what an insult <laughs> slam the door swung open suddenly revealing oh my god is something wrong? Your face. Are you okay? Yo, her face got up. <laughs> Yikes. Is it really that bad? Yeah, but it's not as bad as that time you went bald. True. Oh, you little. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Conflict is not what we need here. We already had enough from yesterday. She sneered at Duncan, who rolled his eyes in response. Her, her face got effed up. This might be a bad time, but do you think Chris, Mono Chris, is going to make us do challenges? Nope, that would be too much for you little dudes. He's back. And plus, there's no way of voting others out. That would make it too easy to escape the game. Wow, you really are committed to this killing game. Ah, if Chef was here, it would be easy for me to escape. Uh, is he? It's not time to joke about that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Where even is Chef? Hmm. Clearly, you know, and you're not sharing. Ooh, ooh, what if he's trapped somewhere on the island and we have to find him? Does any of that matter? Our goal is to survive, and that's what we should do. Hey, Blaze, I just joined. You're my favorite YouTuber. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Hello, Blaze, I just joined. What's up? What's up? Welcome, everybody. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on a Sunday. Yeah, hang out with your buddies. Take time to catch up on sleep. Only strengthens the desire to kill. With that, people disperse into groups to hang out with each other. Well, I don't want to be alone. Who should I hang out with today? Oh, my God. We're doing a free time event. Let's go. Hey, Noah. Want to hang out? Oh, we're going to hang out with Noah? Uh, sure. I spent my day awkwardly sitting on the bench with Noah. Uh, this isn't too fun. I don't know what this guy likes. He got voted out early, so I never really spoke with him. Besides. So, Cody, what'd you do at school? I, uh, well, 
This is time for Noah to get some redemption. Well, I was in a robotics club. That's about it. You seem like someone who would do that. That's mean. I see why he was voted off so soon. Exactly. Well, what about you? I was class president for a year. Part of a chess club. I tutor freshmen. As he continued to talk, I felt my brain melt. He must be fun at parties. Oh, God, Noah. I mean, I do it all because my parents want me to. Huh? I'm the youngest of eight siblings. They wanted one of them to succeed. It's probably because I have a natural interest for reading. Wow, Noah. That's actually kind of sad. Hmm. Okay, I've said too much. We parted ways, knowing more about our outside lives. I kind of like how we're gonna get some uh we're gonna get some lore of the characters. I wonder if this is gonna be like their actual lore or if it's just gonna like be something that people are just making up. Who, who agrees that Lashana can't die? Nope, nope, not at all. As I wandered around aimlessly, I heard someone calling for me. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Hey little buddy! You wanna help me with something? Uh what is it? Well, this morning I was scavenging the kitchen. I know there's a lot of quality ingredients and well. I want to make a nice dinner for everyone. Wow, dude. That's actually really sweet. You think so? Yeah. Well, then, come on, on, come on, dude. He dragged me to the mess hall where he began to show me the ingredients and what to do with them. Aw, we're hanging out with Owen. The amount of frozen meat they have left in the freezer is insane. We can make a nice steak for everyone. You think so? Yeah. My mom taught me how to make a nice steak. And anyways, I would love steak. You like every food. You're the ultimate foodie. It, true. I spent what felt like, oh, wow, oh, oh, oh. That is such an awesome CG. God, I love that art style. Oh, it looks great right there, right? I spent what felt like the whole day preparing food with Owen. Scratch that. Owen prepared the food while I watched him very closely. You know, you could help if you wanted. Nah, I think it's better if I don't interfere. Whatever you say, Cody. Hey, man, could you set up drinks and glasses around the cafeteria? Sure. There's a lot of CGs in this one, huh? I like that. I began to stack cups in my arms and slowly paste them around the cafeteria. It's the least I can do. Grabbing a pitcher filled with ice cubes, I began to pour water within each cup. Hopefully, Monochris doesn't poison it. I guess we're good here. You're just going to leave the steak out? Surprisingly, this place is air conditioned. And we'll eat in a few hours. It'll be fine. The room went silent as Owen began to eye the steak. Owen, don't you dare eat it now. <laughs> I won't. He's going to eat it, isn't he? he? We left the mess hall a bit after noon. It seemed like no one was around. And I really didn't want to hang out with Owen anymore. I wandered back to the cabin and took a nap. Sitting in bed made me realize the situation we're in is real. An actual killing game with people we know and... An escape is impossible, unless... Cody! I rose up too fast to not delay me hitting my head on the ceiling. Whoa, man. You okay? Ugh. Ever better. Why are you here anyways? Well, Owen wanted to make sure everyone was there for dinner, and it's seven. Oh, God, the dinner. I quickly rushed out of bed and went into the mess hall, leaving DJ. As I entered, I realized I was the last one there. God damn I slipped into a seat in front of Gwen since she was already sitting next to Trent. She never will pay attention to me, huh? Why is why is Cody such a big simp, bro? She's got a man. Chill out. Calm down. Wow, I never thought I'd get quality food on this island. Yeah, it's actually food. Oh yeah. I'm gonna enjoy today. <laughs> I wonder who made it. Yeah, I haven't had a quality meal since I got here. We've been here for two days. Heather, your face. What happened to the scar? Yeah, Lindsay helped me with covering them up with makeup. You covered up that deep gash like that with makeup? Okay. <laughs> the power of makeup, apparently. <laughs> eh, took you all day, too. Shut it. The cafeteria filled with laughter and joy. Maybe... Maybe this place won't be so bad. Don't speak too soon. Is it just me or do you feel kind of sick? 
<laughs> yeah, it's making my stomach all tingly. Oh, God. I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, and what did you do to the food? Duncan ran out of the mess hall, leaving the rest of us slowly suffering. Jeez. It's like someone tried to purposely poison us all. <laughs> I didn't see Owen put anything in the food. But why does it take, taste like this? Oh, man. I just wanted to have a good day. People began to leave the mess hall and return to the cabins. Although, whatever happened to the steak was nauseating. All I really felt was really tired. I couldn't control myself. I passed out onto my bed without further thinking. It felt right. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, campers. I hope you had a good night's sleep after what happened yesterday. <laughs> Ugh, my head hurts. Do you think Monochris purposely made that food for us? Knowing that guy, probably. Come on, dude. That, that came from outside. We scattered to run outside only to witness. Open up, dude. Is something wrong? What the heck is going on? Oh, they all have to poop, probably. Whoever's in the outhouse is taking their sweet time. Come on. Other people have to go. Looks like you'll have to wait and suffer for the time. Smash. Or break it. Sorry. Slowly, the door to the outhouse creaked open, revealing who was in there and... What was inside was... Wait, what? No! This has got to... They got to be pulling me right here. There's no way somebody dies this quick. They didn't even get a motive. What was inside was worse than imaginable. Someone actually played the game. What? What? Duncan! Out of everybody, no, I will not accept this. There's no way. Hold on. Hold on. I, no, I am not playing that. I am not playing that. I am not playing this. That is messed up because look, look, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, everybody. This makes no sense. We got no motive whatsoever. Zero motive. Somebody's already dead. Just from, we don't, why? Why was this so fast? Bruh. That is so messed up. That is so messed up. A body has been discovered, dudes. For the remaining time, look for clues and evidence before class trial commences. Why was that so freaking fast? Okay, we might as well just do the... We might as well just do the investigation and trial. If it's going to be that quick. That was quick. That was like Danganmon quick. Record time for PDA. <laughs> Yo, that was the fastest BDA we've ever gotten, bro. Wow. What in the killing game speed run? <laughs> we got no motive whatsoever. People are like, man, I'm just going to kill somebody. Screw it. Like, <laughs> like, they're, like, like no reason at all to kill someone. But they're just like, yeah, I'm just going to participate in this killing game just because. Because I can't. <laughs> We're here. I guess I'll just kill someone. Wow. That is not cool. None of us knew how to react. We all stood there dumbfounded. This is one of the best characters in the series. Dead first, too, by the way. Is this real? What the hell was that announcement? What the hell? Duncan? Oh, no. Hey, Chris, can you explain this? Of course. It's simple. Duncan was killed by one of you. One of us? You sure? Yep, and you guys need to solve who did it, and this will help you. Okay. Monochrist handed us a tablet. I might as well check this. Monochrist file. The victim is Duncan. The body was discovered in the outhouse. The cause of death was poison. The time of death was around 8 p.m. There are no external wounds. I mean, if you are going to start a killing game to leave, I mean, I guess poison is the best thing. I guess this could be helpful. I might need to investigate the body. Jesus, Duncan might might have not been the nicest to me, but he doesn't deserve this. Anyways, what's here that wasn't stated in that file? I mean, okay, 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 okay. But if we think about it, right? The motive of killing Duncan in a way, if we want to be honest, is he did start the violence, right? He cut Heather in the beginning of the series, right? Which is kind of messed up. So if 
somebody probably already thought like, hey, I'm going to get rid of this dude because he's violent. Or maybe it could have been out of self-defense. We don't really know. You know, the outhouse only locks from the inside. And if Duncan was killed in here, how did the killer escape? I mean, maybe he wasn't poisoned in the outhouse. I'm pretty sure poison takes time to react. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Still, the locked door is part of the mystery. Why is there so much blood if it was just poison? I mean, yeah, poison or you should have blood coming out of your mouth, but your nose too. And it's spraying everywhere like that. There's not much to take note of. The monochrist file is pretty accurate. Hey guys, in order to get more info, we should split off into groups in different parts of the island. <sighs> hey, Courtney, you have anything to say since you were close to Duncan and all? Not really. I was in the girl's cabin for the majority of the day. Besides, at dinner time. I mean, that could be useful info. Actually, I have an idea who might have killed him. Huh? Heather. I mean, she's the type of person who would want to get revenge over someone messing her up. She does have a point there. That's too easy, though. The cafeteria might be a good place to check, since this is where the dinner happened. Psst. Hey, Cody. Yeah? We probably shouldn't mention the fact that we made dinner. I know you're innocent. You didn't contribute much. I just don't know about the others. I want to say you're innocent too. I was watching you closely, but I wasn't watching you during the time I was setting up the cups. Ooh. What if it is, Owen? What if it was like an accidental <laughs> killing? Hey, Heather, what were you doing? I felt like I didn't see you at all yesterday. Lindsay was helping me cover up those nasty scars Duncan gave me. It took hours for them to get out. I used a lot of foundation. And Lashana was there the whole time making fun of my face and how I was trying too hard. You know what's funny is like when they talk about foundation and she had like that deep cut, that deep scar. What did they put? Like concrete? Was it like concrete foundation? Like did they did they back up like a concrete truck, a cement truck, and just like <laughs> pour it onto her face? What? Lashaniqua can be so funny sometimes. Excuse me? Stop it. Get some Lushaniqua? I guess this covers some more alibis. Hey, Cody, look what I found. Huh? Gosh, do you ever listen? It's a mortar and pestle. This was just in the kitchen. Kind of an odd place to have one of these things. Yeah, that wasn't there when me and Owen were cooking. Jeff, what are you doing? I saw something in here, babe. Oh, there it is. Jeff crawled out of the cr trash can, <laughs> holding a small empty bottle. Lushaniqua? I know, that's so messed up, dog. That is so messed up. Hmm. <laughs> the cap is not screwed onto the bottle, and it's impossible to make out what's written on the bottle. It's all scratched up. Looks like something medical related. Medicine related? It's also clean. Nothing inside of it. Not even any drops of water. So I guess it was washed out? A strange bottle with no residue. That's medical-like. Wait, the infirmary. There's got to be something like that there. I quickly dashed over to the camp with all the questionable medical supplies. Hey, dude. <sighs> Did you discover anything here? Why is Lindsay laughing it off like she's guilty? Yeah, she is kind of sus right now. Surprisingly, we did. Whoever went in here did an awful job hiding it. A big book of medicine was that left out. And to top that off, it's open to where a page has been ripped out. Do you know what page was torn out? Yes, of course. Because I read this book before and have memorized everything about it. Okay, you don't have to be a smart <laughs> Really? Sweet. Oh my god. The table of contents says that this book is the book is... Uh, the table of contents says that this book and the point in the book is about lethal and poisonous substance substances. Sorry. So something in that manner. I can't, I can't talk today. What is going on? Hold on. My brain is not working. <laughs> the fact that it was left open so sloppily. Maybe whoever tore it out was in a bit of a rush. Ding dong, bing bong. I'd say I've given y'all enough time for an investigation. Why don't we start the class trial? Everyone, meet at the tallest peak of the island. Uh-oh. That was a short investigation. Did Duncan drink the poison? Hmm. So, why are we meeting here? Do we have to jump again? Oh. Uh, no, silly. I have another plan. Monochrist clapped his hands and suddenly an elevator extruded out of the mountain. Whoa, that is so cool. 
That is awesome. I love this. Go on in it. It's perfectly safe. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Woohoo! Izzy leaped into the elevator, looking excited to... Looking excited to wherever it leads. Well, I guess if Izzy goes, I'll go. Of course, Owen. Of course. Why is this game speed running? Bro, this is... That was a fast chapter one, bro. <laughs> that was a super fast chapter one. Hey, hold on. Y'all can't complain in the chat, all right? Because... When a, when, a, when a fan get actually has like a really long chapter one, like a decently length one, everyone's like, man, this is too long. When is it going to get to the point? And now this one's got a short one and everyone's like, man, they're speed running it. But what is it going to be? You want a fast chapter one or a slow one? You can't have <laughs> You can't have it all, baby. You can't have it all. The elevator seemed to go down and down and down. Is this ride ever going to end? Probably not. So, do we even know what's going to happen when we arrive? Monica said that we could figure out who the killer is. What does that even mean? I don't know. All of a sudden, the elevator halted to a stop and the doors began to open. I guess we're going to find out. I never expected to be in a situation like this. Placed into a killing game and Duncan ended up dead. And now we're here to solve who did it. I don't know what happened to Chris and why he's doing it, but that's not the problem. For I don't know what exactly happens if we get the killer wrong, but I don't want to find out. Dude, all of these are, oh my God, it's so, it's so cool. All of these, this style is so dope, especially for Total Drama Island. Looks really great. The CGs are amazing. I like them. Faster, faster, faster. The Total Drama Island is just kids bop dog and rompa prove me wrong. <laughs> Hey, Blaze, my game's prologue will be out where I am or tomorrow. Nice. Greg and the rest of the team actually admitted to this being a joke at first, and then it got a ton of traction, so they take it seriously later on. I bet. And that's how all of the fan games start out. Jetpack? That's why I'm not I'm not that disappointed. Because I already know it, it's the same thing with Dagamon. It was the same thing with Redemption Rampa. We see this every time. Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 always fly. They're fast because... They always start off as, oh, I don't think anybody's going to like this, right? And then later on, when they get to like chapter three or chapter four, it gains traction. And then they're like, oh, let's take this seriously now. So I'm not, I'm not even tripping. I'm feeling good. This is still good to me. I'll give a simple rundown of the class trial. It's easy. Basically, you use what you discovered in the investigation to find out who done it. If you get the right person, I'll punish only the blackened. But if you pick the wrong one, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. You get it, dudes? Good. Whoa. I've never seen a trial grounds before. So we basically debate and stuff? Yeah, exactly. So where should we begin? I say we go over the basics. Trust me. I know what happened. Do you really? Come on now. They start quicker, uh, but they get longer? Yeah, exactly. Well, Duncan is the victim. He was killed around 8 p.m. That was around the time that we were eating dinner. They didn't even really give us, um, like, the file. Like, we didn't even really get to see, like, when the time of death was or when the body was discovered. His body was found in the outhouse. So the killer locked his body in there. He was left there overnight. And we found his body this morning. I'm not sure if that's the whole story. Something feels, seems off. I might need to hear the argument again. I don't even, I couldn't even tell you who killed. It's just from that, like, short chapter one, to be honest. It's, a real, it's honestly a toss-up. Well, Duncan is the victim. Okay, which one was it? Oh, it's what uh, Tyler said? No, you're wrong. What do you mean, bro? I don't think the killer locked Duncan in there. The door only locks from the inside, true. So, what are you suggesting, bro? I, I feel like it's pretty obvious. <laughs> I love Cody right there. Maybe Duncan locked himself in there? Don't be stupid. Why would he lock himself in there? I'm not sure, but there's no way into the outhouse. He must be the one who locked himself in there. Do you think this relates to the whole situation with the dinner? Maybe. It could be a, it could be a coincidence that we all felt sick and then Duncan ended up dying in the outhouse. That's kind of a fitting place for him to die. Hey, don't get us sidetracked. Hmm. I mean, if there was something wrong with the food, 
shouldn't it have had the same effect on everyone? We all should have died. Look at it. Hey, look at it. Look at his portrait right there. It has two knives and an X. That's awesome. But then why did we all feel sick? There has to be a reason. It can't be a coincidence. Wait a minute. Got it. Maybe the culprit poisoned a bit of everyone's food and then heavily poisoned one part of the steak. So you're saying that the killer took the risk of poisoning the steak and having the slim chance to take the overly poisoned piece? I mean, the killer would know what piece was poison. They could simply avoid it and grab a less poison piece. That idea is crazy enough that it could work. Wait, could it? So Duncan wasn't specifically targeted? Okay, that makes sense. I guess so. So should we try and solve the killer? I mean, there's still some evidence that we probably should talk about. I don't like how Owen's face was right there. Y'all saw that? Jeff found a small bottle. It has to be important. It was buried under a bunch of trash. I think the killer was trying to hide it from plain sight. They also scratched up the label, so it's impossible to decipher what it actually is. Hey, Noah, you think you can identify the bottle? I really honestly think that Noah accidentally, or not Noah, uh, I think that Owen accidentally did this, y'all. I think he, I think he straight up did it by accident. Uh, you know things could commonly be held in the same bottles. Just identifying the bottle could give me an option of many types of poisons. But you said you had the whole book memorized. Jeez, do you not understand sarcasm? Well, you're the smart one. I can't. <laughs> I told you it's impossible to identify. Oh, come on. Stop arguing with us. Just tell us what the darn poison is. Hmm. What if we identify the poison type? It was probably a liquid. Those things are easy to sneak into food. Ooh, ooh, or what about a solid? Maybe a poisonous gas? I told you, that doesn't help me identify the poison. Considering the bottle, only one of those poison types really matched that description. It has to be liquid, come on. Let's use our brains here. Wait, it was a solid? I actually think Lindsay's right about it being a solid. Really? Wait, hold on, whoa, 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 why? What did the bottle, what was in the bottle? I identify the poison type. What? But you, uh, what? But you'd be able to see yourself eating a mysterious solid? Courtney sus. Not if it was crushed. C crushed? Harold found a mortar and pestle. Oh yeah, because that was in there. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. In the kitchen. The killer might have crushed in the solid and then sprinkled it into the food. Okay, that makes sense. It would also explain why there was no residue in the bottle. Well, does that help you narrow it down, Noah? No. You know, the more you reject, the more suspicious it sounds. It's because there's a page missing, right? Wow, you actually have brains. Yes, that is. You mean this page? Wait, Izzy, how do you have the page? Where did you find that? It was in the girl's cabin. <laughs> a sneaky piece of paper didn't think I would see it. Well, go on and give it to Noah. Well, let's see. No, no. Hmm. It's most likely a poison called Reichen. It is indeed a solid, and you can only die from it by ingesting a lot of it. Having a little of it will make one only feel sick. Which means now we can decide on a killer. So it has to be a girl. It's one of the ladies. Well, I already have it narrowed down to two people. Owen and Cody. It can't be them. What are you talking about? <sighs> I heard you mention that you made the steak. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You heard that? Not really, but your reaction confirms it. Shoot! I did hear, however, that Cody didn't contribute much to the steak. So that leaves you, Owen. Owen, I did not expect that. Owen, why did you kill Duncan? I don't think it's him. That would seem too easy to make the food poison when making it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Looks like you're all conflicting with each other about two opinions. Don't worry. I have a thing for this. Oh, my God. Is the, is the debate scrum about to happen? I kind of forgot he was here. Yeah, I did too. Yep. I'll call it a, dis a debate scrum. <laughs> Why is Heather pinging Owen? I have no idea. <laughs> I just love how there's a freaking debate scrum, though. This is great. Let me get my debate scrum music. 
Is Owen the culprit? We're about to find out. He is or he isn't. If Owen was alone in the cafeteria, then surely he's the culprit. You do know Cody was there too, right? Owen was the one making food though. I was watching him very closely. He couldn't have snuck something in the food. Owen and Cody were the only ones in the cafeteria. Nope. I saw them leave around 3 p.m. Anyone could have done it. Are you saying someone snuck into the cafeteria? It's entirely possible someone snuck in. You know, it'd be crazy if Cody is the killer, right? Obviously, he's not. But it would be crazy if Cody was the killer and it shifted to Gwen being the protag. That'd be amazing. That'd be great. <laughs> but Owen was hiding the fact about making the steak with Cody. He was probably hiding because he was scared. Poor big guy. Can the poison even be hidden within the steak? Then maybe the poison wasn't in the steak. Where else could the poison be then? The poison could have been in the water. Whoa, full counter. I hope La Lashina dies. Oh, hey, why are we getting my girl's name wrong? What is happening? It's Lashana. I didn't even think about the water. I mean, that makes more sense than a steak. Yeah, you could dissolve it in the water. It would be impossible to notice. The water glasses were already set, so the killer didn't have to worry about taking the poison drink, and we sit in the same place as each meal. Meaning, Duncan was killed on purpose. Poor guy. Wait, so who put the water glasses in each spot? That was me. Cody! Hey, Owen, can you confirm that Cody didn't sneak something into the water when he was placing it? She can tell from my facial expressions. Actually, I can't. I wasn't watching him at the time. Uh-oh. Well, it looks like we found our killer. Wait, wait, no. How could I have crushed the Raichen without Owen hearing it? You could have done it without some, uh, within some distance of Owen. He can't hear very well. Which means Cody is the culprit. Hold up! Lashana's coming in, baby! Let's go! Best character! Lashana? What are you doing? I know he's not the culprit. Something from a previous conversation conflicts with that. Stop getting in the way. Is it going to be Heather, bro? Cody's the culprit. Everything matches up. Nope. You got to rethink that. He set the glass of the water. He could have snuck the poison in there. He could have torn out the page. He could have hid the page. He could have lied to me. <laughs> There's so many things that Cody could have done. <laughs> Come on. It's obvious. Just give up. Something there would be impossible for me to do. Come on. Think. My life depends on it. Bro, you better, you better hit them with a Jimmy Neutron real quick. Brain blast. And I wouldn't know that's wrong. I couldn't have hit the page. I was never in the girl's cabin. Can we even prove that, though? I can. I was in there the whole day while Lindsay tried to help Heather with her scars. Which makes the culprit uh, one of those three. <laughs> this is fun to do. Izzy's just having so much fun. Well, good job, Lashana. Now we're suspicious. Not exactly. What? It's going to be Heather, ain't it? Yeah, it wasn't just me. Lindsay and Heather the whole time. A fourth girl was there for a bit. Courtney. No! In fact, you were there for five minutes. Wait, but she said... You came in, grabbed something from your luggage, and then left. Oh, oh, there's also... That's also where Izzy found the paper. Courtney? You looked through my stuff? It looks suspicious. I didn't do that. Apparently someone snuck in there during the day. Wait, Courtney killed Duncan? Why would Courtney kill Duncan? No, what? What do you have to say, twerp? I, uh, you told me that you were in the girl's cabin the whole day. Oh, did she now? That, that can't be used. I just forgot what I was doing. Mistakes like that happen. Yeah, but an innocent alibi is pretty suspicious, especially in a time like this. I swear, I didn't kill Duncan. Why Why would I even kill Duncan? Why? Yeah, that's a good question. I know we're getting somewhere now. Now, now all I need to do is think about is why she did it. After the killing game was introduced, you tried to set up a system so that no one kills each other. But Duncan got in the way of that. 
He was the ultimate delinquent. He brought a knife to the camp. He messed up Heather's face. Someone that dangerous would scare you into thinking that certain someone would commit homicide. Duncan surely trusted you the most, so if you told him to sit somewhere, he would do so. That's just speculation. You can't seriously be using your thoughts and theories as pure logic. Actually, can I butt in? I might have actually have some proof of it. What kind of proof would you have? A little birdie was helping me make a bird eyes view map of the seating arrangement of last night. Take a look. Wait, what? Okay, so we got Heather, Lashana, Lindsay, Harold, Tyler, Izzy, Noah, Owen, Cody, Gwen, DJ. That's me with a smiley face. I like that. Trent, Bridget, Courtney. Oh, Courtney and uh, Duncan were sitting right next to each other. I hope this will help you, man. God, DJ, what the heck? DJ's out here. Let's go. And the black characters are helping out. $10 from pay, uh, Pancake Roll. What's up? Fun fact, my IRL name is Izzy. Let's go. I'm pulling the team of this trial. And it wouldn't be Courtney. It wouldn't make sense. Yo, thank you so much, Pancake Roll. I appreciate it. It does. Look, Courtney was sitting right next to Duncan. She probably sat that close to make sure her plan was going to work. I... Whoa, I was not expecting that. Courtney? I, I, I... We have three pieces of evidence backing up that you killed him. Give it up. But I think it's time this trial ends. I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> Yo, hey, wait, hold on. Y'all saw that sprite, though? Look at that sprite. <laughs> that Cody sprite is amazing. I love it. Bro, I want that to be my new profile picture. Okay, there's an actual video for the... Uh... For the wrap up here, which is nice. You don't get that very often. Give me a second though. Good night, Courtney. That's so messed up. I would never have thought that Courtney was gonna kill anybody, to be honest. Courtney is just not that kind of person. Uh, Maybe I won't full screen it. They decide to make matter take matters into their own hand. Cobra went to the infirmary, found a poison that would work for their cause, that being Raichen. Okay. They took the mortar and pestle. Look at that. And broke the Raichen into a fine powder. I think we we all know what happened, right? You might as well do chapter two. Eh, it's been a, it's been about an hour. They poisoned all of the cups. But they gave they gave Duncan the most poison. Where I literally said plot twist, it was Courtney. What the freak, dude? That's crazy. I love all this art, though. This art's really cute. I actually predicted Bryson has a poison. Oh my lord, I'm sobbing. Did you really? How'd you know that? You, how do you know types of poison like that? Can you see Mario Rampa on Instagram? Uh, Vanta, I talked to Vanta and they don't want me to do Mario Rampa. They would rather me do Super Mario Rampa first. That is, that's clean art. That is such clean art. Wow. I'm loving this. This is cool to me. <laughs> I definitely like this. That was a twist though for me because I really didn't think that Courtney would kill somebody, but dang, I thought Courtney would end up being like a victim, you know, that would probably die like later on, but... That was a surprise. Please, if I'm wrong about anything, tell me because I don't want to be. Nope, that's correct. I I did it. I killed Duncan. Why? I wouldn't expect you to kill anyone. Exactly. That's what I said, Gwen. Let alone Duncan. I wanted to protect everyone. It's my goal as a counselor that everyone stay safe. I mean, that makes sense. I was scared that, that Duncan would end up killing someone. I didn't want that to happen. So I did what I had to do. Something in her voice. Something made me feel bad for her. Well, that's a touching story. Well, let's see who guys, let's see who you guys voted for. Did you guys pick the right answer or the dreadfully wrong answer? Yikes. Wow, you guys did it. I'm so proud. Yeah, I'm so proud. Ha ha ha. You're killing, you're killing one of my favorite characters in the series. Well, now what? You guys figured out I killed Duncan. What happens? What do you mean? Monica specifically said, 
If you get the right person, I'll punish only the blackened. But if you pick the wrong one, you guys figured me out. I'm the blackened. So what's the punishment? I'm glad you asked. Oh, God. Are, are they actually going to have videos for the, uh, the execution? If so, that's dope. It's very simple. The punishment is death. What? I say it's a fair punishment for what you've done. An eye for an eye. A life for, an li for a life. That's not how that quote goes. Shut up. Anyways. Wait, please. I don't want to die. Chris, please. Let's give it everything we've got. Please, I... It's punishment time. I just wanted everyone to be safe. This is so wrong. On so many levels. I don't like this. Courtney! Oh wait, it didn't go into the execution? Is that the next slide? Oh yeah, I guess so. Oh crap, there's like a, this is a legit one. Whoa, we got, this is good art, bro. Oh, is this like a Kaide death? This is a Kaide execution. Hey, yo! What the heck? Yo, hey! There's robots in here! I was there in training. They're little, they're little like kid robots! Oh my god! Duncan! We just won! Bro, you guys love doing this. Fan game creators love doing this. Oh my God, that was awesome. Dude, fan game creators love doing this, on, especially on the first uh, execution. They love having that moment where it shows like either, you know, a flashback of the person's like son or maybe the person that they've killed. You know what I mean? Like end up killing the, uh, the, the person or the killer. Blaze and everyone else, I gotta go by. Bye, Yin, thanks for coming. Honestly, I'm here for the brutal executions. That was lit. I like that. I like that. I love the art for the executions, man. There's that, that was really well done. I'm going to give them a round of applause for that one. That was fire. That was fire for sure. I love that. Definitely cool. Dot, 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 dot. I, what the f I know, Lashana. Why was that? Why was... She didn't deserve something like that. Aw, oh, quit whining, you bunch of babies. You'll get used to it. Used to it? Every class trial ends with an execution. As if we'll go through another class trial. Yeah, why would we do that? Right? We don't do that. Huh? After seeing someone like that, I don't think anyone would want to commit a murder. Yeah, that was like super scary. You say that now, but I know one of you will commit homicide. Homicide? <laughs> homicide. Anyways, get out of here. It's about nighttime anyways. We all left and walked back to the cabins, separating into boys and girls. Hmm. Yo, Tyler, I'm sorry. It's weird to think that two of us are gone. Duncan was the last person I'd expect to die. Yeah, why did the two of us have to die? Duncan, who was just being his usual self. And Courtney, who was trying to keep everyone safe. I really hope Monochris isn't right about going through another trial. And that's the end of chapter one. Okay, for this being just a joke and just something that people were doing for fun, that was a great prologue in chapter one for me. I mean, it, it did everything that I wanted. That was a lot of fan service. That's what I care about in these crossovers, right? Is there a lot of fan service for me personally? 
And I thought that was cool. I definitely got a taste of what it's like for uh, Total Drama to be part of the Danganronpa universe. That was cool. When is the homie side of Duncan Pole going to go? <laughs> so it looks like... Man, that makes me so mad because in this stream earlier, we did a poll saying that Duncan was going to survive to the end. Will Duncan survive the game? And a lot of people said no. It really is impressive. Like, even for a joke, you could tell they put a lot of effort into it and it's sick. Yeah, for a joke? Of course, the, the chapter was really short and whatnot. They kind of rushed through it. But that's the thing about crossover rompas, right? If you really want to know about these characters, you've probably already watched the series, right? So if you've watched the series, you already kind of understand, like, their personalities and their relationships with each other. You know? And you kind of don't really have to touch on that that much. And I think that's kind of like the cheat code for doing like crossovers like that. You don't have to explain much. You don't have to really do a lot of character development because it's like you're just taking characters that have already been developed from TV shows or movies or other series and you're bringing them here. Um, obviously, uh, Empire kind of went above and beyond a lot of crossover fan gans with their Rompin friends. Like Dis the Disney uh, inspired fangan that they've created is like it has like all kinds of lore to it right so yeah they've definitely gone above and beyond but most of the other people that do crossover rompas you don't really need to like you don't have to do all that development and such for the most part their personalities were pretty spot on for the most part from what i've seen from the show from my like little bit of memory from the show i don't know them i don't know the show like you know like i haven't watched it in a while so I gotta go. Bye, Blaze. Bye, Heather. Thanks for stopping by. Definitely making Courtney last way longer than my own Total Drama fan again. I know, right? Bro, Courtney is like a character I really wanted to stay alive for a lot longer than this. That kind of sucks, but hey. Can't have what I want, right? And Duncan, I would have let I would have let Duncan survive too, because I would have had Duncan like be kind of like one of those fleshed out characters that you know it starts off as antagonistic, but then kind of cools off by the end of the the series i know you could do that with heather too but you could kind of make heather into like a kokichi type character or like a togami where she's just like screwing around with everybody i think she's the mastermind who heather i was thinking of a quick case that would be a sort dangarapa 2 nagito case but with some difference including attention that will never come to life and it would be a first case that's cool Rompin Friends was one of the best. Also, can't wait for Dangamon. I hope that Cyrus survives. Yeah, same. Toko was going to be like Togem if he lasted longer. Yeah. Anyways, we have... I know a lot of people are telling me to do Chapter 2, but I'm going to do that next time. We'll just do the full Chapter 2 because it's probably going to be short just like this one was. So we'll do the full Chapter 2 um, in the next stream. Meaning daily life and deadly life. We'll just probably end up doing all of the chapters like in one stream each, you know. Can you do deception examination next? Possibly. Making a cookie run fan and these instant rompas are hella inspire me. That's good. Sounds nice. Sounds good. I learned that I trade my life for yours is the highest rated Danganronpa fanfic on AO3. Really? I think it's best to do a full chapter at most. Yeah. Yeah, these ones are going to be really long or they're gonna be really short so we could probably just bang them out in a stream each chapter two we'll do in one stream chapter three we'll probably do in one stream and chapter four we could probably do in one stream also so will you do home uh, danganronpa home sweet despair i think so i know we're gonna do aether rampa also that's on here because i think owo was the one that recommended that one to me that one looks really good Got original characters in it. We also got to do redemption. We got to do a redemption stream because we need to watch uh, the daily life for redemption chapter six. I bet defiance is going to be done with that trial pretty soon for chapter two. So we're going to have to do a, a stream for that. So we got a lot of streams coming up. Hey, everyone take care. Thank you for another great stream blaze. No problem. Thanks for coming in guys. I really appreciate it. Hit that like button. If you haven't already, you guys are all amazing. And thanks for hanging out. So much Rampa, I know, right? I know, I know, I know. 
I recommended some on Discord and last stream. Jeez, Louise. Oh, well. I hope Redemption gets a sequel. Same. That'd be cool. I feel like with the with the experience they've kind of gained with creating Redemption Rampa, they could do like another really good um, fan game. But, you know, that's only if they want to. I'm just shocked, you know? That was, that was shocking. That was a shocking first trial. Yeah. <laughs> Redemption, but every character is Noah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That'd be super cool. All right, guys. Much love. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Will you play Eden's Garden? Heck yeah. I've been waiting for that one for a long time. I will be playing that one. Have a great day, y'all.